Hey, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna to be making some zesty chicken thighs in my brand new Ninja Foodi Oven XL. Now this is a super easy recipe. You can actually use this recipe on any air fryer you have. It's really easy to make and it'll be done in no time. So let's go over our ingredients. You will need five to six chicken thighs. You will need two tablespoons of lemon pepper, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and about a half of a tablespoon or a quarter tablespoon of cayenne pepper just for a little bit of kick. Now you can actually remove this part if you do not want any spiciness. Now all we have to do is just mix well. Now when you buy chicken thighs in a package, sometimes they're not always trimmed well. Sometimes you'll have like a huge lip of just skin hanging over. So we really don't need that. So we'll just go ahead and trim that off. If anything else looks a little funky, like some extra fat, you can go ahead and remove that. Now that we have our chicken thighs all trimmed up, now we're gonna season them. I'll take a little bit of our seasoning that we mixed up and just make sure you season your chicken thighs well. Now on the skin side, we're gonna add a little bit of oil. That's gonna help make it nice and crispy. Now I'll just go ahead and season liberally. So now I'm gonna season the rest of these chicken thighs and we'll get them ready for the air fryer. In this cook, not only am I gonna be cooking the chicken thighs, I'm actually gonna be cooking up some asparagus and mushrooms. So I will be using the roasting pan to put our chicken thighs on. Before we place the chicken thighs on the roasting pan, we're gonna apply just a little bit of oil so that way they don't stick. Now the Ninja Foodi Oven XL actually preheats in 90 seconds. So I'm not even gonna mess around with just waiting for it to preheat. I'm actually gonna put the chicken thighs in. Place our roasting rack on the bottom because we're gonna prep some veggies and we're gonna be putting that up on top. So now we'll turn on our air fryer. We're gonna go two levels, one and three and we are going to set the temperature to 380 degrees. We're gonna set that for 36 minutes and then we'll start. Now, like I said, it does take about a minute and a half to actually preheat, but that's really nothing compared to some of the other air fryers back in the day. They would take a really long time to heat up and this one's really quick. Now I'm gonna be pairing these chicken thighs with a little bit of asparagus and mushrooms that we're actually gonna roast up in our air fryer and then a, a side salad. So to simply season the mushroom and asparagus, we're gonna add a little bit of cooking oil and a little bit of lemon pepper. Toss it around, season a little bit more. All right, and our veggies are done. For our veggies, we're gonna be using the air fry basket. When you hit the last 20 minutes, we're gonna be adding in our mushrooms and asparagus. Now you wanna make sure that you spread these out because you want even cooking. It's smelling good. Let's get our veggies in there. We'll go ahead and put that on level three. We'll close it up and let it do its thing. Now that our chicken is done, we're gonna be checking for temperature. You wanna make sure that your chicken is at least 165 degrees internal temperature. Chicken thighs are a little bit forgiving. You can go above 165 degrees. I like my chicken thighs like around 175-ish to about 180. Gets the outside a little crispier, but you still have a juicy piece of chicken. All right, most of them are temping about 180 degrees. And that's something that I'm always gonna tell you guys. Cook to temperature, not by time. Uh, especially with the earlier air fryers that I used to have, it would take a really long time for things to cook up. But uh, this one, actually doing a really good job. This right here smells fantastic. I'm gonna give these veggies a try. I love making asparagus and mushrooms like that. Mm -hmm. Nice zestiness from that lemon pepper. Some really good stuff. Now let's get into this chicken. Looks yummy. Cheers, y'all. Mmm. Hmm, really juicy. I mean, look how juicy that is. Really, really juicy. It's just dripping out juices. Let me tell you, it has a nice little kick to it. We got the zestiness from that lemon pepper. The garlic adds a nice savory flavor to it. And then the cayenne spice things up. Some good stuff. Mm-hmm. 
You guys gotta try that recipe. It's really fantastic. If you're new to my channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. That way you see future videos just like this. As always, I'll leave the link in the video description and in the comment section. So that way you can go to my website, cookingwithkirby.com to get the full printable recipe. Now I have these recipes. They're really good. You should try them out. Now y'all be beautiful and take care.